Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to Video Pro Guide Tutorial. In this series, we will walk you through how to create stunning video with Video Pro Vlogger. But before we dive into the journey, make sure to check out the link in the description box down below to download the software well for free. Alright, so now, let's get the video started. Camera movement comes as a great way to warm up and engage your viewers. Here lunacy, it was, it was so crazy and I just, oh, you would have died. No, Turner's fine. Turner's fine. I, I just, um, are you going to wait till Denver to tell her? But we often get ourselves into such scenario that it is not until when we start editing that we find certain clips might lead a little bit panning or zooming. Here I will show you four commonly used camera movement effects in post editing. The first is zooming, which allows the camera to approach a subject gradually to hold the viewer's attention. The second is faster zooming. Well, as a limb implies to quickly move your camera forward and to create a sense of faster speed. The legs is zoom out to pull the camera away gradually so to draw more visual content into the footage. And the last one is a faster zoom out to quickly move back the camera so to create a sense of something fading away speedily. All these effects could be achieved in one click with the VidiPro Vlogger. Let's see how to make that happen. Double click to open the software. Click here to create a new sequence. Import the materials you lead to the media library. Drag it to the timeline. Hit the motion button here to enter the motion editor window. On the left is a source editor which allows you to visualize and add to error being keyframed. On the right hand is a preview window to preview the editor work. While this row in the middle places different motion presets offered in the software, including the four effects that we're about to know today. All you need to do is to move the mouse to your desired effect and click add. The effect will be automatically applied to the video. Let's try zooming first to here. Click it and apply it. Well, it works pretty well. You can use the same trick and apply faster zooming. Zoom out. And faster zoom out. Hit apply. Here you have your fact building the video. So how exactly to achieve these effects? Here we will take the zooming as an example to show you how. As we apply zooming, we can see two playheads with the numbers showing up on the timeline. The first one means the starting point of the whole zooming action. The second one is where you want the action to end. The whole process is controlled by these two playheads. And in this way, through adjusting the position of the playhead, we can achieve something more dynamic and personalized. For instance, if I wish your image to change from here, I could drag the first playhead and drop it here. And if I'm going to end the zooming effect at this point, I could place the second playhead here. Let's play and see how it works out. Well, it goes exactly what I expect. You can adjust the position of the playheads to create the effect you want. The software comes with a basket of interesting presets for you to discover. Like the roll effect which helps to add more creative definition to the video.
or the cinematic open effect to give more cinematic vibe to your project. If you have used too many presets, and the image becomes somehow confusing, click Reset to restore the original footage. Alright, now you have reached the end of today's video about how to do zoom in and zoom out in VidPro Vlogger. I think you've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in another Sky tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.